we can start first at like the restaurant. Even though we don't think that the food that we're eating, you know, on our plates now is really impacted by the environment, it really is if you trace back to where it was on the farm. We can look at an, an event like a, a, a wildfire event. That one event will produce maybe 10 different potentially hazardous outcomes in different environmental settings. When they talk about winnable battles, one can look at the decrease in motor vehicle crashes that have occurred in this country. We've done all of this work and in interventions um, in a very, very multifaceted way. And that's when I started to think, okay, what is the common denominator that's, that may be driving some of these health outcomes? What is the underlying cause of that? In that curiosity, found the environment. So environment is kind of this understanding of the world that we live in. And when we talk about environmental impacts, it could be things in our immediate, the room that we're in right now. It could be what it's like outside of our home. It could be the community that we live in. See, this is where I'm just like, whoa, the environment is everywhere. One of the fundamental things about environmental health is that we are really interested in the exposure that we have and how that influences health outcomes. Tobacco is an example where you, know, you see people using products that are highly contaminated with cancer-causing chemicals and there are different ways to address it. Ultimately, it can't just take the epidemiologists themselves, but you also want to have you know, your toxicologists, your engineers, your psychologists. All of these disciplines come together to really, again, pursue a multifaceted approach to prevention. These big hairy problems, they, they cannot, they will not be solved by a single scientific domain. And so that's actually what kind of drove me to pursue a master's originally in environmental health sciences and the University of Minnesota, specifically the Division of Environmental Health Sciences. It was really a Swiss army knife, right? A jack of all trades. They had the resources at your disposal to focus on whatever avenue you were interested in. The area of research that I work in is in microplastic contamination. I'm an environmental epidemiologist by training. So I focus on the intersection between people in the environment and their exposures. 90% of my uh, research program is on tobacco, uh, informing tobacco control policies. I'm very interested in foodborne and infectious diseases. We have a project through NASA that's evaluating how drought conditions impact respiratory disease health. So right now there's a, an increased uh, incident rate of like lung cancer within specifically a Native American. We're working on a research that can help us like find different ways to like reduce that. So my work is on food safety, more specifically on um, the environmental health side of foodborne illness surveillance. Students are the heart and soul of our our division. We want to see them thrive and take our work to the next level. They also bring in kind of new perspectives, new ways of thinking. We, I feel, have some of the best students. Um, they are extremely open to ideas and um, new challenges and so we kind of really are used to working collaboratively. I think my biggest goal is to just make the world a better place. If we can understand how like overall like the environment works, we can be able to work together either to lessen the impact that we put on the environment and find different solutions. Overall, our objective is to make our communities healthier, it is to make our environment safer, and it is really to protect the population because we want to make the world a better place. People say that uh, a, a, a like a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Uh, I like to think of it more like a net and that we become stronger by weaving different strands together. Mm -hmm.